All right, hopefully that is working. And hello, and welcome to Ready Set Indie Games. Hope you all are having a fantastic evening. I am Ready Set, and yes, this is my layout for um, my Halloween content that I hopefully will be doing next month. Um, for those of you who do not know. Uh, let me go ahead and say welcome to Ready Set Indie Games. I'm Ready Set, and on my channel, you will predominantly see indie games. So 98% of the time, I stream indie games on my channel. And hello, Dan. Welcome, welcome. And I typically stream usually Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and Thursday and Friday at 11 p.m. Now. For those of you who do follow me on Twitter, you may know this, that, uh, or have seen that I just got a new job. <laughs> so therefore, um, there may be some changes coming to the schedule. Um, I had planned on streaming Monday through, Monday through Saturday, starting next month, just before the month of October. Um, and I am still considering doing that, but if I do it, it probably won't be until it would be late night streams and it would be at the most maybe an hour and a half that I would be Um, so, we will see, um, uh, depending on, uh, what happens as far as my, uh, as far as how the job and the training and stuff goes. Um, but tonight is free to play. Tonight is free to play Friday. And because next Friday starts Steve Next Fest, I figured we would do a preview of some of the spoofy or spooky games for the month of October. And so I ended up, um, Saying that this week we would do some free to play spooky or spooky type games. Ooh, Curse Basilia is always a good one. Um, although that one is not on the card for tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, so tonight we have four free to play games. Um, one, the first one is a demo, and that's going to be Calibra and the Souls of Limbo demo. Then we're going to play Project H, which is like a escape room type pixel art um, type game. Then we're going to play Last Message, which you are in a pretty much post-apocalyptic world with zombies. Um, it's kind of like a visual novel, it seems like. And then last but night, not least, will be like the door. So those are the games that we have on the card for this evening um yeah so um funny story when i was setting up for stream i forgot to actually i legit forgot to um set up my stream deck hello jess welcome to the stream hope you are well and thank you for that follow as well. Um, I like totally forgot that, um, <laughs> no problem. Um, totally forgot to set up my, um, uh, Steam Deck. <laughs> And so I was like, wait, so I kept switching. So, you know, you might have caught the beginning of my stream where it kind of like glitched out for a moment. And I was like, wait a minute, something's not right. And, um, <laughs> and so um, I ended up fixing it though. So we should be good to go. Um, I'm excited to see how these uh, games play out. Um, but yeah, so this would be general what you would see starting in October, um, when I do my Halloween type games. This is the layout you would see. 
Um, but let's go ahead and start up our first game, which is going to be Calibra in the Souls of Mundo. Because now this should work. Yes, it does. Okay. Well, let us go ahead and start up our first game, which is Calibra and the Souls of Limbo, which I thought was really cute. And so I was like, it would be perfect to show this one off. And we're probably going to play this with, um, because this can be played with the, um, this one can actually be played with, it doesn't look like the audio is picking up, so let me do that real quick. It does look like um, this one can be played with keyboard and mouse as well as controller, but it's just simpler to play with the um, keyboard. So, a soul of bright nature who will help, who while helping others will find himself chasing down an answer to a simple question. Why is he here? But let's not spoil the whole story. You should at least take a peek yourself. This is so pretty to me. We're going to start a new game. Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, we're going to start a new game for uh, Calibra and the Souls of Limbo. But yes, this is Calibra and the Souls of Limbo. Yeah, this one does it. It's just um, like this one allows for you to play with keyboard and mouse as well as controller. I've come to find out that usually because this is a demo and I usually have come to find out that um, with using what the controls are, it's a little easier because sometimes the controller is not completely set up. So, um, but yes. Our first game of the night is Calibra and the Souls of Limbo. Now, again, this is a free-to-play demo of the game. And one of the things that I do want to point out is that you can pick up this demo on PC, Mac OS, and Linux through Steam and itch.io. It will be having a Kickstarter starting October the 19th. They pushed their Kickstarter back to October the 19th. So if you use the link that I just posted there, which was um, exclamation point GOTW, it will bring up a Google Doc of all the games I've played this week, where you can find those games, the platforms they're available on, price if there are prices. And again, the link to get to the platform of your choice. Um, now, like I said, this one's Kickstarter has been pushed back to October the 19th. But I still wanted to play it because, again, this game looks gorgeous. And you'll see what I mean here in a moment. But we're going to start a new game for this. Um, if it'll allow me to. And uh, go from there. Okay, let's see. And so tonight's discussion question, and I figure I, since we're playing kind of like spooky um, games or Halloween type games, that I would make it kind of a spooky question or spooky question. So tonight's question is, what is your favorite thing about the spooky season? Uh, feel free to answer that in the chat. Um, for myself... I think my favorite thing about Spooky Season is all of the Halloween type movies that come out. Because I'm not a big, um, big fan of horror, so Mumbo wouldn't work again. Ah, uh, you like watching streams. See, for me, I don't play a lot of spooky or scary games. I tend to play spoofy. So games, again, that are Halloween-based, but not, like, 
scary, scary, because I know not everybody enjoys scary games. And, you know, myself included. So for my streams every year, I tend to play every so often. I will play a couple of scary, scary games or, you know, or games that to me are scary. Um, but for the most part, I usually try to keep it like spoofy or, you know, lighthearted because not everybody's into horror, you know. And so on my streams every year for um, Halloween, I tend to play cutesy little games and every so often here and there I might get into a scary game but for the most part you'll see spoofy games on my end huh hey have you been here for long have you been there for long probably should put on my glasses because legit I just like woke up <laughs> before I got on the stream I literally just woke up so it's you know it's a little hard to see things <laughs> ah there we go hey have you been there for long Never mind, that's not important. Good thing you're here. You can give me a hand. I'm cut. Just an old lady. Pleased to meet you. And you are... Calibre? And what brings you around here? Oh, you don't remember? Not to worry. That's fairly common around here. I'm sure your memory will come back when you need it. So where was I? Right, making stuff. About to tell you how I ended up here. Oh, making stuff up is what she was going to say. <laughs> I um, was in the middle of one of my daily walks when a sudden tremor knocked me down into this chasm. Next thing I know, I find myself stuck in these vines. These vines are attached strong, so the only way to get rid of them is to cut them. I'm going to need you to look around for something we can use. Please, I'm counting on you. Okay. So we can roll by hitting X, but on controller, because I'm now playing with controller, we can use the B button to actually roll too. Private property, keep out. If you're here looking for something you lost, I didn't steal it. A law abiding bird and citizen, Pika. Okay, that happened. There we go. So we got the scissors. You found a pair of scissors. You put them in your inventory. You can open your inventory with the C button. And I never did I. So on controller to open inventory is X. So, so let's do that. Let's use these on the things. Good. Those scissors should do the trick. All right. At the count of three. One, two, three. Nailed it. Ah, that hurt a bit. But I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. That aside, we need to get this rock out of the way. The way out of this chasm is through the ancient tunnel. The rock is no longer tied in place by vines, so you should be able to push it, push it aside. I would do it myself, but my poor old bones are not that strong anymore. I'll just stand here out of your way. I'm sure you can handle this. But before that, I want to give you this. A book. You got a notebook. Take it as a token of appreciation. This notebook will help you keep track of important information you learn from others. Why don't you take a look at it? There should already be an entry about me in there. Okay. Aha. And so why... Is how you check out the notebook. The, old la the lady in the vines. You helped this odd old lady that you found trapped in some vines. She gave you this notebook as thanks for helping her. It should help you keep track of important details. Okay. And so this is our task. Very pretty, don't you think? It is very pretty. I agree. Be sure to check it if you ever get lost or need to reveal an important detail. I'm sure it'll be very useful around these parts. Now back to our issue in hand. I need you to get that boulder out of the way. I'm sure you're strong enough to push it aside. Go get him, champ. Alrighty. Because I also forgot it was trying to take medicine again. So we're taking medicine. 
And then we're going to push this boulder out of the way. And so I actually came across this demo because I was looking for free to play stuff and I saw this and I was like, this would be really cute to play. And so that's why I ended up picking this one up. It's like the developers or anybody didn't reach out to me um, every so often, at least for free to play Fridays. I, if I don't have games that are free to play from developers themselves, I usually go and look for free to play games to play. Let us go ahead and push Le Boulder out of the way. Good job. I knew you could do it. You go in once you're ready. I'll go along with you. Hopefully my uh, levels are good too. Okay, sounds good. Great. It's quite dark in here, but no need to worry. It doesn't matter how dark it gets. Things will light up on the way. That's how things tend to go here in Limbo. Oh, that's pretty. You see, the souls with unfinished business arrive here and land right at the core of their biggest regrets. It then becomes a maze from which they can't escape, a spiral with many dark corners. But there's always an exit, one they must find. No soul is exempt from this rule. And that includes you, Calibra. Something's holding holds you to this place. This is gorgeous. And think, this is just the demo. This isn't even the full version of the game, which I think I did forget to mention that, so let me put that in there, too. Um, again, the following live stream footage of Calibra and the Souls, Lost Souls, of, or the Souls of Limbo um, is a demo of the game. Therefore, the footage you see may or may not be featured in the final version of the game. Also, there may be some little soul bugs in the game, so forgot to mention that part. Um, although it's uncommon, but I see hope in your eyes. I believe your soul brings light to this place. But ultimately, it is up to you to prove it. Well, it looks like we're almost at the exit. This is really gorgeous. I'm really impressed by this demo. And again, the Kickstarter for this is going to be coming out um, October the 19th, so... I get the feeling that the answers you seek may lie in others. Call it a hunch. Be safe, Calibra. I'll be around. Oh, okay, that happened. The old lady says you're in limbo, a place where lost souls with unfinished business remain trapped. Despite this, there's hope that you'll be able to pers persevere and bring light to this place. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Good morning, sir. My name is Crow, and I am the delivery service brought to you by the Wing Union. <laughs> and I have a package for you. Oh, you got a pocket watch. Okay, pocket watch. I wonder what this is for. Um, let's see. Wait, you're a Calibra, right? Yes, I am. Skinny, short. It fits the description. Anyways, the pocket watch also comes with a message for you. I'll read it out loud for you. <clears throat> Dear Calibra, time flies around here, so this should help you keep track of it. Look at the bottom of the screen to know if it's day, evening, or night. 
Time is precious around here. Use it wisely. I suggest that you head to the plaza. You may find something useful there. Best of luck. Signs of the old lady you just met. And that's the end of the message. Well, sir, don't mind my guessing, but you seem pretty lost. You're currently at Dead Valley. A place famous for its dry lands, cold nights, and dangerous falling rocks! Bird almighty! Close call! I better place myself over there. Yeah, that might work. You know what they say, a boulder doesn't strike twice in the same place. Uh-oh. By the way, Plaza is the, that town over there in the mountains. The view is great from up here. Too bad I don't have time to take a good look at it. But it's okay. I'll come back after work anyways. You know, I'm still not feeling safe here. Besides, I still got quite some mail to deliver, so... A feather of the wing at your service. Have a good day, sir. Alright, so we are heading to the plaza. And we just met Crow. Crow is a delivery bird working for the Wing Union. He seems a bit too lively for being in limbo. Crow doesn't have much time to talk while at work. He delivered you a pocket watch along with a letter from the old lady that told you to go to the plaza. Okay. Alright, so to the plaza we're going. Oh, what's this? You're at Dead Valley. To the left, mysterious ruins. To the right, leaving Dead Valley. Okay. Well, let's see what's in the mysterious. Aha! Only those who pay tribute shall be allowed within the sanctuary. You who wants to pay respects. When twilight looms over the valley, after finding a home for the flowers of beginning, beginners, not twice at this door and listen closely to what it has to say. Only then will your debt be shown upon you at this tablet. Okay, so we have to come back at twilight. You found two pearls, okay. And this is the fastest way to travel. Oh. More pearls, okay. Another pearl. This is really gorgeous. I may have to back this one when um, it comes out to Kickstarter. Oh. This chest has a simple lock. Okay, so we can't get in there yet. Oh. Another vase. Grab that. You found one pearl. This gate has a lock, okay. With paint. That also has a lock. Um, let's see if there's anybody in Rosa's shop. It says it's open. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Rosa's flower shop. My name is, my name's Flora. And that lady over there is Rosa, the store owner. Hi, nice to meet you. My daughter here will help you with anything you need. Come and have a look at what we have for sale. And feel free to ask me any questions you may have. Okay, we will do, Flora. Something I can help you with? What's for sale? Take a look. Does something catch your eye? A play, <laughs> a flower perfect for beginners. It does, doesn't need to be watered often. A dual alive. Coming soon. A fancy flower that requires a delicate hand for those looking to get serious. And then the ultimate flower. Okay. Come back anytime. Something I can help you with? I'm good. All right, let me know if you need help with anything. Door slot. Hey! 
Don't go in there. The shop's here. Okay, sorry. Hello there. Is there something you want to talk about? Um, about your flower. Are you curious about the flower I have? It's the Estrella flower. It requires a lot of effort and dedication to raise this beauty properly. I have to spend all day taking care of it. I wouldn't recommend it to you. Australia would be too difficult for someone just getting started. But don't worry. I'm sure there are other flowers that would be a better fit for you. Anything else you want to talk about? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Look around as much as you want. Okay. Okay, we're gonna head out. I was trying to see if maybe it might have been something in there, but... Oh. Oh, here's another... Nothing there. No, we got another pearl. And I'm like, it's something over here light lighting up. It is not letting me get there, so let's talk to this rock creature. No response. Okay. The talking boulder. Legend says that this boulder is alive and capable of speech. Will you be the one to awake it once again from its deep slumber? Um, okay. Oh! Oh! Um, okay, let's head back to the shop. Maybe we need that flower. I'm thinking... Oh, wait, can we get her? No, nope, I don't think we can. Let me see. I think it's locked, so we can't... It has a simple lock. In fact, it's so simple, you could probably pry it open with something small enough to fit in. Do we have anything? What about... These won't help. Okay. Nothing with that. Okay. Wet paint. Please do not sit on the bench while the paint is dry. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause you. The wing union. Okay. Hmm. Can we? Okay, so no, we can't tear that up either. I'm gonna go back in here because I think we have enough to buy that flower. Uh, what's for sale? Take a look, there's something to catch your eye. All set, here you go. You bought Nova. Sold out. Thanks for buying. Take care of your little new friend. Remember, it's su it's a succulent flower, so you don't need to water it for a long time. And with that... We are one step closer to our goal. Only two more to go. Did you hear that, Mom? Oh, good. Good to hear, honey. Yes, we're one step closer. I don't know if we, if you read the signs outside, but we are on a liquidation sale. Once we sell all our stock, we are moving out. It would be sad to leave a place with so many beautiful memories, with so many memories, but it is towards a brighter future. We appreciate the support of all of our clients, old and new. Thank you, sir, and good luck. Is there something else that you want to check out? Come back anytime, but I did notice you were talking about this gate. About the gate. You need to get the gate open to leave Dead Valley. My apologies, but we can help with open that gate at the moment. Ask me tomorrow. Maybe I'll find some way to get through that door. But in the meantime, please try to find another way. I'm very sorry for the trouble. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm good then. Um... Hello, Chaotic Fair. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are well. Hello there. Is there something you want to talk about? About the gate. You need help getting the gate open? I'm sorry, dear. We don't know anything about that. 
You see the sign nearby told you to ask here? Are you sure? It must be some sort of mistake. Maybe someone is playing a prank on you. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I'm good. Okay, look around as much as you want. Okay. Bionic Advancement Award to Flora for her research and findings on the positive effects of petting flowers. It, they won't let me go back there. The Wing Union is here to serve both the living and the dead. Dead and lost, let us give you a hand. Alive and hungry, we're hiring. Open fees may apply. I like how I just keep running in the stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we have to find a way. Oh! Oh! Hi again, um, Calibra. I'm doing pretty well, uh, Chaotic. Uh, just uh, kind of relaxing for the most part um, with some free-to-play games um, for tonight. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, there's a chance that um, for next month, which is um, October, that I'm supposed to stream Monday through Saturday, but I just got offered a new job. Um, so if I do decide to stream, it will be at, at most an hour and a half, and it would be late night streams. Um, and then I would play it by ear from there, but I'm just cleaning up this bench a bit. Now that it's done drying, you can sit here if you want. Though I should warn you, time seems to fly by when you're on this bench. You don't want to waste time slacking when you should be doing something important. Speaking of which, I have to get going to do more deliveries. Sorry I can't stay in the chat. A feather of the union at your service. Goodbye. So I'm assuming this bench is the way we save. Pastime on the bench. The bench near Rose's Flower Shop is now open for use. Crow recommends using it if you need to pass time quickly and have nothing else to do. Because I'm thinking we need to go back to the um, cave that was on here. So. Flower sells shops. Or, wow. Flora sells flowers at Rose's Flower Shop during the day. She lives with her mother and store owner, Rosa. No help with the gate. Uh, Flora no longer has the key to open the gate that leads out of Dead Valley. It seems like she's unable to help with this, so you are better off looking for another way to get that gate open. Um, and then we bought our first flower. Okay. So we're gonna sit on the bench. Do you want to rest? We're gonna rest until I think it's, we want to do Twilight. So, it would twilight be night or evening? I want to say evening would be twilight. Like, this is a really, really pretty game. And again, this is just a demo of this. Um, as I've said before, the um, daylight is running out. Right. Oh. Hey, good to see you again. Is there something I can do for you? I'm good. Okay, I'll stay around for a little while longer. Because I'm not sure if they meant Twilight as in, like, night? Or evening. Might have been night. Only those who pay tribute shall be allowed within the sanctuary. You who wants to pay respects when twilight looms over the valley after finding a home for the flower of beginnings, beginners, knock twice at this door and listen closely. Okay. Nope. Okay. No, because we do have this flower. You know what? I wonder. 
I'm kind of curious. Oops. If we go back to the boulder. Yeah, the art in this is really, really cute. No response. No response. Okay, we're gonna go back to the bench. Oh, stop hitting your head! Um, let's do nighttime. I guess. And see if maybe now the boulder will talk. All right, let us see. I don't, I didn't know. Been looking for attentive next time. The key was, I didn't know. So we're looking for a key to get out of here. I'm hoping now that the boulder might talk. Let's see. Is someone there? Oh, hello there. I don't think I've seen you before. And yes, I am a talking boulder. The name's Rocco. <laughs> That's cute. I only, I'm only away from my sleep, my deep slumber at night. Now, what is it that you want? Can you unlock the gate? You need help opening the lock gate behind me. I see. I can help you with that. Let's say I got a trick to open it, but I'll need you to do something for me first. You see, the truth is that I get pretty lonely in here, and I don't get many visitors either, so that's why I want to ask you this. Could you get me a flower, one to keep me company here? I got you. If you bring it for me, I'll help you out. Is there something else you want to talk about? I got this flower for you. All right, if you need me, you know where to find me. So we're gonna give um, the flower to Rocco. Oh, you've got a flower. Great. Just plant it right here, it should be fine. Hmm, no, this won't do. I'm afraid I've miscalculated and my conclusion is that I still feel lonely. It looks like I need another flower, please. I know it's a lot to ask after I promise, but I really need it. Here, take this. I'm sure you can make some use of it. You got a jump ball. Don't look at me like that. I know it's not much, but it's all I have. I'm sure you'll find something useful in there. If you look closely, please, I need your help. Okay. So we have met uh, Rocco, who was a talking boulder, and we just gave them their first uh, flower. So if I do this, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about this, okay? I couldn't combine them. Okay, so what if now we go back to this... Um, I like how hard he hits the, uh, they hit the wall, rather. It's kind of funny. But let us go back this way <laughs> to the, um, ruins and see if now... Let me see. There's nothing to use on this item. Only those who pay tribute should be allowed. You must to pay respects when twilight looms over the valley after fighting home for the flower of beginners. Not twice at this door. Listen closely to what it has to say. Only then will your death be shown upon you at this tablet. Okay. Did 
Should I like not do it then? It said to knock on the door twice. Wait, that's not the door. Is that not the door? Is that not the door? Okay, I am not a, where's the door? At this door, and listen closely to what it has to say. No? Maybe I'm goofing it. Cause I mean, we found a home for the flower. I really think it means this door, though. Like, I think this is the door, it's just not... I mean, is there something we're not doing right? Let me see. Oh! That happened. We have two more pearls. Uh, nothing. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Nothing. It is getting ready to be come daylight again, so. Okay, so maybe we did. I mean, even though we did, it looks like maybe we didn't. Hmm. Wait, because it's like, um, I wonder. There's so much stuff in this ball of junk to use it properly. Maybe if you examine it closely, you'll be able to find something useful. But how do I examine it? Oh, <laughs> that happened. You, let's see, we have two hairpins. Okay. We're gonna use one here. I didn't even see examine down there. We're gonna use one on this. Okay. Okay. So we're in the up. No, nope. up. There we go. You've unlocked the door, but your hair print your hair pin broke. That makes sense. You can hear what they're saying slightly better from this wall, but would it be right to get closer and eavesdrop at them? Well, how come you didn't notice, Mom? I've been looking for it all day. I told you, dear. I didn't realize I was sitting on it. Sorry for the trouble. I didn't mean to upset you. It's all right. I know you didn't mean to. But you need to wake up, Mom. You've been getting distracted a lot lately. It's getting late. Let's go to bed. Don't judge me, Bert. <clears throat> Looks like we got a little spy over here. The nerve of some people. I'll keep an eye on you. Two more pearls. Can we grab this? No. This gate has a lock. I 
don't know if I want to. We're gonna sit on the bench and see what happens. Yes, rest until tomorrow. Cause it's not much else we can really do. Crow. I'm a delivery bird from the Wing Union here at your service. Something something is off. Hey, Calibra, have you met me before? You you still remember me. Sorry, but that's so uncommon in limbo. I'm glad to hear I won't have to redo my introduction every day now. Phew. Then you'll probably already know about the curse of limbo, right? The whole erasing all the soul's memories at the end of the day and whatnot. Most souls around them will forget everything they've done during the day. It is part of the curse to forget things from the day before. It keeps them stuck in a loop. It usually requires powerful emotions or actions to help them break from the loop. Something that leaves a mark on their soul. Also, souls are not the only thing around here that can be cursed. Sometimes items can be bound to a soul too. Bounded items, they will return to the place where you found them at the end of the day. Just something I thought you'd like to know. By the way, I thought you would have left Dead Valley by now. But I noticed the gate to leave the place is locked. And that's not good. So, I have a crazy idea that may just work. You've probably heard of the talking boulder by now. The weird boulder near the gate. Wait, you've already met him? Oh my gosh, so it's really true. My legs are shaking. I could die right now. Figuratively speaking, no offense. But, it's only a Wagner in the night, you say. Oh man, that's a shame. I wanted to ask for its autograph, but if it's awake only when I'm away, then it's a lost cause. Unless someone else would get it for me. Calibra, you have to do this for me. Here, take this. You got a lottery ticket. <laughs> Please, ask it to write its signature on this. Don't worry, this ticket expired long ago. I count on you, Calibra. I've got nothing new to report today, so I'm just going to pat passing by to say hi. Is there something you want to talk about before I head off? A bald stalking bird. If I know anything about a white bird stalking others, hmm, I think I know who you're talking about. That's probably Pika. She's my cousin. She's always doing shady stuff and getting into all sorts of trouble. I think she's currently wanted for a series of scams. I don't know much about what she's doing nowadays. I usually try to stay away from her antics. She's usually eavesdropping or by herself counting her money high on trees. I would recommend to stay away from her. I still got some time left. Do you want to chat about something quick? Nope. Okay, in that case, I'm heading out. Oh, before I leave, I just wanted to let you know I'll be around here by evening. Just in case you need to talk with me again and now. A feather of the union at your service. See ya. Okay, so he wants the autograph. Of the boulder, but the boulder only comes alive at like night, so. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Rosa's Flower Shop. My name's Flora, and the lady over there is Rosa, the store owner. Oh, yeah, because they forgot. Because they forget every day, so. Uh, my daughter here will help you with anything you need. Come and have a look at what we have for sale. And feel free to ask me any questions you may have. Something I can help you with? Lost something? Hmm, you're asking if I've lost something? Well, I've been looking for my garden key all day to get the... Dual live flower for ready. Why do you ask? Try under Rosa. Wait, you say to look at look for it under my mom? Do you mean on her chair? That's a weird thing to say, but at this point I'm open to try anything. Hey mom, could you get up for a second? Uh is something wrong there? I want to check if you're sitting on the keys by any chance. 
Well, okay there. Let me get up. You were right. There's the key. Mom, how come you didn't notice? I didn't know it was there. There, sorry for the trouble. It's all right, Mom. Just try to pay more attention, okay? Thanks a lot for the help. There's no time to waste. I have to close the store for the day. Sorry about that. Let's go. I'll be working at the garden if you need me. Have a good day. Hmm. Oh, hi there. I'm a bit busy at the moment. If you need to buy something, we reopen tomorrow. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to dig up this dual live flower to sell at, at the store. But there are some vines that are getting a hold of it. I don't know where they came from. Ugh, I don't have anything to cut them with, so that's a problem. I'll keep trying around here and see what I come up with. If you find something that can help, let me know. Now, where was I? I have scissors. Hmm, what's this? Oh, thanks. This is just what I need. But wait a second. Where did you find these? Don't ask questions. I lost these scissors a while ago. I've been looking for them since forever. I don't know how you got them, but thanks for bringing them back. Now, let's take care of this. Hmm, would you look at that? Well, it looks like the vines are a bit tougher than I thought. I'll have to soften up these vines first. Let me get on it. Need help? Wait, you want to help? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. But before that, I haven't asked your name. Calibra? Well, it's a pleasure to properly meet you, Calibra. Okay, so here's what I need you to do. I need a specific solution to weaken these vines without hurting the flower. You see the flask by the table over there? Those are herbicides. I need you to mix them until the resulting color matches the vines. Okay, so what is that, purple? In this case, these vines are purple. Also, if you mess up, you can always split the herbicides to their basic forms with the unmixer machine. Okay. The unmixing machine is by the table over there. I'll be working on the other plants while you take care of this. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks again for the help. Good luck. Okay. You got multiple herbicides. A machine for separating combined chemicals. Okay. So, go here. Because I want to combine that with that. Hey, do you have what we need? Not yet? Okay, no. No, I, I do have it. Dang it. That happened. Right, I do have it though. <laughs> so, we'll do this part here. Um, I have what we need. Oh, what's this? Oh, you've got a herbicide mix ready. Let me see. Huh. Yep, it seems about right, but it's still not ready. We need to neutralize it a bit so it doesn't hurt the flower. And for that, I need a bit of serp extract from one of the trees around here. I need you to extract it with this. Okay. You've got a tapping kit. But there's something strange about it. It seems bound to flora. Bounded items will return to their owners by the end of the day, Luke. You can get the serp we need by using this tapping kit on a tree, but there's a catch. The barks on the trees are too tough. You won't be able to insert the spile that comes with the kit. Lucky for you, I've already prepared a tree for this. There's a tree that has an X carved onto it. Find it and use the tapping kit on that spot. After that, it's just a matter of time until it's filled. That's all you need to know. Be sure to return it when you're done. Okay. So we are looking for a tree with an X. Looking for a tree. That has an X on it. See if a tree is up here anywhere. 
There is a tree up here, but I don't know if it has an X on it. Uh, yeah, it does. Use the kit. You insert the tapping kit into the tree. The faucet is dripping. There's very little supper here. Do you want to stop collecting? Sir, no, nope, keep collecting. So if there's anything else we can do while that's collecting, because I think we're going to need quite a bit, so... And we know that the rock doesn't talk until it's nighttime, so there's no sense of really, I guess, going to talk to the rock, per se, yet. I think we go sit on the bench. Oh, what's this? Uh, grab that. We have another pearl. I think we should sit on the bench to speed up time a bit. Only thing is, I don't know if that's going to, like... I don't think it does, though. Rest until evening, and then we're gonna go back for the, um... We're gonna go back for the bucket and see if we get to keep it. Daylight is running out. Yeah, because see, now she's not outside. So let us see. If I go and I tap this or go and grab this, is it going to, like... Okay, so now we have that. But we can't use it because she's like inside now um i guess now we go and get the birds autograph or we go get the boulders autograph now which means we need to sit on here till dark get the boulders um information and then um we will probably get ready to stop <laughs> i didn't realize i'd been playing this for quite some time i think i've been playing this for at least an hour now um so we'll do this last little bit we will do this last little bit here and then um Is, is someone there? Oh, hello there. I don't think I've seen you before. And yes, I'm a talking boulder. Her name's Rocco. Only away from my deep slumber at night. Now, what is it that you want? You have something for me? What is it? You want me to sign my autograph here? Mm, sure, just slip it under. You slip the ticket under the boulder. Done. Hmm, hey, can I ask you a favor? You see, the truth is I get pretty lonely in here. And I don't get many visitors either, so that's why I want to ask you this. Can you get me a flower one to keep me company? I promise I'll make it worth your while. You say you already gave me this flower over here. I don't recall that. Don't try to trick me, boy. Besides, I'm still feeling lonely here. I think I'm going to need another flower. If you bring it for me, I'll help you out. Okay, but we don't have that flower yet. That we do not have, so we're gonna go back. And we are gonna rest to the next day to give our friend their um, autograph. And then we will stop the gameplay for this there, cause uh, you know, it, um, like I said, I've been playing this for like an hour. <laughs> Good day, sir. I got nothing new to report today, so I'm just passing by to say hi. Is there something you want to talk about before I head off? 
about the autograph. Have you gotten its autograph yet? Nothing yet. Aw, oh, I still got some time left. Do you want to chat about something quick? Um, but I did get its autograph. So I think I have to give it to him in the evening, though. Because I'm like, we did get his autograph, though, right? Yeah, we got his autograph. But I think I have to wait until the evening to... Please stop hitting your head. Please stop hitting your head. I think I have to wait till the evening to do it. And then I think we have to redo this part with Rosa. Hello there. Welcome to Rosa's shop. That's Flora. Hi, nice to meet you. And she will help with anything. Something I can help you with. You lost something. I'm not at your asking. I lost the key. Ah, oh, I goofed. About the garden key. Hmm, you're asking if I lost something. Try on the Rosa. Wait. Yep. Uh-huh. Hey, Mom, could you get up for a second? Because we already did all of this. Because it loops. <laughs> you were right. There's the key. Mm, Mom, how could you didn't notice? I didn't know if it was there. Sorry for the trouble. It's all right, Mom. Just try to pay more attention. Thanks a lot for the help. There's no time to waste. I have to close the store for the day. Sorry about that. Let's go. She'll be working in the garden if I need her. I'm gonna go here. Hmm. Oh, hi there. I'm a little busy at the moment. What are you doing? I need help. Wait, you want to help? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Okay. Right, we're gonna be mixing those into a purple. So we're gonna be mixing this. Combine that with this. I'm good. Use, okay, what's this? Oh, you got the mix. Hmm, yep, that seems about right. Now we need to. You got a tapping kit, but there's something strange about it. It seems to be bound to her. Okay. Okay, so we know where the tree is. It's, oh, stop hitting your head. We know where the tree is. It's back over here. Put the kit in here. And then it's going to take some time for that to fill, right? Okay. Um, let's save. And then go to the title screen. Because <laughs> I just realized I've been playing this for like almost an hour. Um, but that is Calibra and the Souls of Limbo. And again, if you would like to play this, this is, the demo is available on PC, Mac OS, and Linux. It is available on Steam and itch.io. And of course, this will be coming to Kickstarter October the 19th. So you can actually um, check out the pre-launch page and go there to click the notify me button. So when the Kickstarter goes live, you will be able to um, pass the Kickstarter along or donate. Now, if this game did interest you, if you click on the link there, it's going to bring you up to a Google Doc of all the games that I am playing tonight and I have played this week. Their platforms, the price, if there is a price, 
as well as the link to get to the said game. Also, as I like to always say and let you all know that currently my stuff's not working. I have to reset this up. But even if you cannot purchase the game, please go ahead and wishlist the game. Wishlisting the game does help out the developers a lot. If you wishlist the game, it will help it to end up in people's recommendations. Once the game does release, wishlisting, purchasing, and leaving reviews can help the game end up in the new and noteworthy section on Steam as well as the front page, depending on how well it does. So as I like to say, when in doubt, please go ahead and wishlist it out. I don't think I've added my soundboard to this, so there's some things I need to work on with this. Um, but again, go ahead and check this one out. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Alrighty. And so, um, yeah, because <laughs> I didn't expect to get that caught up in the game, but it was it's a really good game. Um, but we are going to move on to our next game, which is going to be Project H, which is um, it is a escape room type game. And it has jump scares here and there. They're not that bad, though. At least in my opinion, I didn't think they were that bad. But there are um, some jump scares here and there, so um, we will play Project H next. Um, and we're going to play that for a little bit, then we'll play Last Message, and then I'm going to try to play some of Mike and Thorn. Um, and then we will probably call a stream from there. But let us go ahead. I don't think that Project H has a category on here, but let's see if it does. It does. Okay, so it does have a category. Okay, so we're going to update our category to Project H and then uh, go from there. First blood. Double kill. Okay. And so our next game on the card again is Project H. And Project H is a free to play game that is available on PC. And as I said earlier, um, this one is only available on Steam. And with this one, you it's a escape room type deal. So you're trying to escape, I guess, like a haunted house or whatnot. And the ghost doesn't want you to leave, obviously. So that is what this one is about. Um, we have our inventory, which is up here. And we can move left and right. Okay, it's showing that one dot is supposed to be blue. But that's three, so. Don't know what that does. We turned on the lights. Can't get in there. Did I just grab something? No. They turned off the lights again. Stop doing that. Okay. 
Okay, that opened something. This, maybe? No. But it opened something. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, no. Turn off the radio. I was like, yeah, that radio was like... Okay. I don't know what that was we just grabbed, though. Okay, um, so there's like these little, <sighs> I think it turned off the lights again. Oh, there's one is blue, would you stop turning off the lights? So blue, the second one is black, three is green. So blue, black, green. I haven't found the one for four. I haven't found something for four. But I'm thinking that's what those are for. Cause I think that's green, I can't tell. One is blue. Two is black. Okay. No. 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 Uh, blue, black, green, round, nope, okay. Because like I said, I'm not seeing anything for the color. Oh, come on, man, stop turning off the light. Um... Oh, okay, that's what that's for. Is it open something? Sound like it did. Like legit, it sound like it did open something. Oh no, it gave me a new piece. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Let's see if we can find another piece. Ah, please stop turning off the light.
now. What about here? Wait, where's that? Oh, I was like, what the heck was that? Mm, nothing there. Oh, now the picture's covered in blood. I'm like, wait, what? Ah! Oh, okay, so the fourth one is brown. So we have, um... Blue. Brown is the last one. Black, and I think green. So blue, black, green, brown. No. Please don't turn off the light. Turn off the radio because that annoys me. Um, so maybe it's brown, blue, no, green, that, black. But that's not it. It was like, maybe it's this one. I found the, uh, like, cause see, that's brown. Why are you hiding in the closet? Come out of there. The heck? But I thought it was like green. This one, blue, and then like brown, but maybe I'm hitting the wrong brown. Oh, that opens, okay, that was the key to the door. Okay, cause I'm like, wait a minute, what? that because that's three come on man with the lights four is like this brown like that that's like a blue that's a black and I think that's black so maybe it's Green, black, black, brown, green, black, black, brown, no, green. I think one of the problems for this one, for me at least, is because the colors blend in so well, so you can't really tell what color that is. Oh, here's the last little piece we need for this, though. Um, okay. There's the green key. So we got the green key. We just need the last two. But I cannot figure out this puzzle here with this. Like, I'm thinking that it's blue, and this color, and this color, and then this color, but that's not the way it works. So then I'm like, maybe it's this color, this color, this color, this color. But that, again, not the way it works. Because I can't tell if that's black or like a dark green. Or is it, you know, uh, 
Okay, so, I mean, this is the first room. I'm assuming. I think that's the first room. Where's the first room? I can't remember. Is this the first room? Because then if that's the case, maybe we need to set these up in that order. So, like, maybe this should be that color. That's right. I think that one's right. I can't tell. The third one. Oh, that's the radio. Third one looks like a green. Or is it supposed to be the colors of the locks? No. Stop turning off the light. Uh... That's why I was like, okay, well, maybe it's this, 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 and then that, but that's, it, that doesn't do anything. And now me just pushing random buttons doesn't help. Because I was like, well, what if this is... The representation of the rooms like that one's blue that one's black this should be green yeah like it's like really throwing me off Wait, oh, okay, wait a minute. So clicking on that, it's telling me that brown is for this one. So this should be brown. That one was brown. Um, okay, there's another like creature in this house. Cause like I clicked on that. So this one is blue. That one's blue. That one's green. And then that one's red. Okay, so this is red. And thank you, Lisette, for the bits. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate you for that. And how are you this evening? This one should be blue. And then the last one is green, right? Am I doing this right? That's blue. We know that one's brown. That's green. And then the three one is red. So red, brown. Um, so we're playing free to play like spoofy or um, or spooky type games tonight. And so tonight we are currently playing uh, right now we're playing Project H. Um, nope, that doesn't work yet. And Project H is kind of like an escape room thing where you're trying to escape a house. 
and this um, ghost kind of doesn't want you to leave. And so that's what we're playing now. We just finished playing um, Calibra and the Souls of Limbo. Then after that, we have um, Lost Message, which is a zombie type game. And then our last game is Lycan Thorn. So the radio just turned on. It's driving me nuts. Um, Cause this should be blue. This one's brown. That one's green. And then the last one is red. Right, so we did that one, right? This is red. This is brown. I can't, like, it's weird because I can't tell the colors. And then we have this, which I'm wondering if it's supposed to be, like, that one's brown. This one, I guess, is supposed to be blue. This one is red and the other one is green. That's what I thought, but I think I tried that. So I did blue, brown, green, and red, but that does nothing. Blue. Yeah, it's not doing anything. So I'm kind of stuck at this part. Blue, which we did this. Um, right now, we're just trying to solve. Like, there's these um, little, um, like, flask here. Um, and we've gotten the colors. Please stop turning off the light. And we've gotten the colors. So the second one is supposed to be, that's where I'm messing up at. Maybe it's telling me, like, legit. But see, then this has a two. This also has two. Wait, this has two. That has two. Please stop turning off the light. They just turned back on the radio. Maybe do that, 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 and that, but that doesn't do anything. And then I have these, and I thought maybe these blocks were the representation of what goes in for that air. Whoa, that got dark. <laughs> um... Yeah, and that's what I thought, too, because when I did the books, the book showed me the flask. But it didn't really go into detail after that. Like, brown would be for this flask. Blue is for this one. This one, I think, is green. And then this one is red. So red would be here. Brown would be here. Wait, something opened. I think we finally figured it out. Something just opened. Stop ringing. Now we need to figure out what that was that opened. Yeah, because that, that puzzle finished. Okay, so we just got the blue key. Now we just need to figure out this last puzzle and we're done with this one. And then I'm seeing this, you know, I'm like, okay, so that's brown. This, I think, is supposed to be a black. I can't tell the color is the problem. That could also be black. And then there's a four dot. And I'm pretty sure it's for this one.
Okay, it's the black two dots. Please stop ringing. Um, what happened? Oh, turned off the light. And then I was like, that might be green and then like this brown, but that doesn't do anything. So then I was like, okay, maybe, you know, again. Oh, I got it. Now we just have to find where it is. Like legit, where is it? Cause we just opened it. Ah, uh, yeah. Turn back on the light. What the heck? I'm like, what the heck? What is that? Okay. But now where does this go? It's like, uh, where are the phones ringing again? Driving me nuts. We finished that puzzle. That's not it. Oh. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't go there. Oh, okay. I mean, is that gonna give us what we last need, though? Yep, there's our last key. Freedom, maybe. All right, well, we finished that one. Um, how do you find the indie games you decide to showcase? Um, so for the most part, the devs either reach out to me or I reach out to the devs for it. Um, and then other times I just legit go through like for my free to play Fridays. If I don't get games from developers to play, I will then just look for free to play indie games to play on free to play Fridays. But for the most part, most of the games that I get are from the developers um, themselves reaching out to me. So. Um, but that one was Project H. It is available on PC. It is a free-to-play game. Not that long, not too, too long of a game, but it is available free on Steam. Of course, if you enjoy what you saw of the game, 
go ahead and click on the link there and that will take you to the games page for you to download to play for yourself um and yeah it was a pretty fun little like um uh, game there i enjoyed it um like i said it's not that long of a game but still a lot of fun um so again if you like what you saw of project h please feel free to go ahead and pick that one up again it is free for pc on steam Because we completed that one, I can actually get rid of that one. Um, let's see. Um, we are at, almost at our two hour mark here. Um, because I didn't expect to get caught up in Calibra and the Souls of Limbo. <laughs> that was the issue. I got really caught up in that one. And so, um... I'm debating on if we should take a quick break or not, or play the next game, and then we take a break, or if I'm just going to continue just to keep going on through stream and try to finish out all of the games that I have. I also didn't expect for that one to take me that long, but it did, because it has puzzles in it, so. Um, the thing with last message is there is a lot of reading in this one. Yeah. First fly. And that's what I'm wondering if I should go ahead and take a 10, like I usually do about a 10 minute break just to kind of break up the game and we have been going for almost two hours so I say we are going to go ahead and take a quick break here so I can kind of rest my hand a bit and probably grab something to eat I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> so we will go ahead and take a 10 minute break and then when I come back we will take a look at the last message which is also free to play. And we will take a look at Lycan Throne after that. Lycan Thorn after that. And then that will probably end our stream. But let's go ahead. Let's take our break now. And we're going to do a 10 minute break. So if you need to get something to eat or snack on yourself or you got to check on the dog, make sure the cat's not getting into anything, that would be the perfect time to do so. But for those of you that don't have to do any of that, Please feel free to enjoy these indie game moments. Um, who knows, maybe you will find a new Halloween type indie game that could be your new Halloween favorite. So, I will be back in about 10 minutes.
Taşırdı bu yeni naş, yeryüzüne çıkmak lazım artık yavaş yavaş. Ordular, iltiler sarsı geri dönüyor ortasında alacak haramların. Kutulmuş ruhlar kapladı her yeri bu uğursuz mezarlığın. Dünyaya yayılmak için önlerinde tek bir engel var. Onları tutun ve han geçmişinde çin ve sihirli mantarlar.
Hello and welcome back to Ready Set Indie Games. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Ready Set, and on my channel, I predominantly cover indie games. So 98% of the time, you will see indie games on my channel. And currently, I typically stream from on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Thursdays through Friday at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we are doing Free to Play Fridays, um, and we're doing a preview of what you would see during my Halloween streams. Um, so this is typically the lay layout you will see for Halloween. Um, as I had stated before, I did just get offered a job, so there is a chance um, that, because I wanted to stream Monday through Saturday, but depending on how my job works out, the streams will vary, so you will see that as me streaming next month, Monday through Saturday, again with the times varying. So the best way to catch my when I'm going live is to be following me on Twitter, because I typically post an hour before I go live what games I'm going to be playing on Twitter, and then I post a going live. So. Hello, and welcome to the stream, Paul. And hope you are doing well. Um, we are going to get ready to move on to our next game, which is going to be Lost Message, which is kind of a... Um, Double kill. It's kind of a zombie-type game, but it's like a visual novel. Kind of. Um, but that is going to be our next game on the card. And that is where we are going to go on to next. So let us go ahead and bring up the next game, which again is Lost Message. Or I said Lost, it's Last Message, I apologize. Love the music in this. Music in this is really chill. And so our next game on the card is Last Message. And again, Last Message is a free to play game. This one is available on PC through Steam or itch.io. Now, of course, as always, if you enjoy what you see of the game, please feel free to go ahead and use exclamation point GOTW or simply click the link there. And that is going to take you to a Google Doc. And on this Google Doc, it is going to list all of the games that I have played this week, the prices, if there are prices, their platforms, and again, provide you with a link to get to the game on the platform of your choosing. So let's go ahead and dive into Last Message. There is a lot of reading with this. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Um, but we will see. A deadly parasite sweeps across the planet. The infected dubbed Zeds become highly aggressive, biting those around them. Infection takes over a host instantly, while also killing the original host. It spreads... Faster than can be anticipated. Nowhere is safe. Five years later. The world is now overrun. Survivors keep the world running however they can. The infected mutate to find new hosts. Upper Hut, Wellington, New Zealand. Jill, her husband, Josh, and their son, Danny, are happy. They love playing cards together. They are a family. They survive. It is supposed to be a normal supply run in a safe area of the ruined city. 
Danny chases a dropped soccer ball down a dark alley. Oh, well, you know, GG. A lingering Zed bites him. He bites his father who had tried to save him. Jill hesitates at what was once her husband steps towards her. The gun is heavy in her hand and her heart pounds in her ears. She pulls the trigger. A shot rings out across the city. Wow, so she had to kill her husband. Jill arrives home to her apartment after a two-day supply run. She turns on her laptop. Whoa, whoa. Back online? Good. Okay, okay. Whew. I was worried. Sorry to pounce, Jilly. Haven't seen anyone online for a day or so. What's happening? Hey, Willow. You know I was on a supply run, right? What's going on? I don't know. I knew you were going to go dark for a while. Standard supply run stuff, you told me. But... News coming out of the Hut region says there's some new raiders moving through. A couple of folks have gone dark without warning. Tower 10. You know that group? I remember. Cassidy and her crew, right? What happened? No idea. Their connection might be fried or they might have been caught by Zeds. Or they could just be gone. They sent something about raiders. Nothing out there for two days. I hate waiting. You okay? No raiders. I'm fine. Got through the supply run. Didn't see anything outside of the usual wandering dead lads. Well, that's some good news. Okay, gotta ask the usuals. One sec. Pasted from the civil defense site like usual. Agitation. Flu-like symptoms. Unusual hunger towards human flesh. Further symptoms as covered in the latest civil defense updates. Any of those look like you? None of the above. You know, that's what they all say just before the Zeds burst the door down, right? Oh, jeez, I just freaked myself out. <laughs> but not haha -ha funny. More like haha -ha whatever, never mind. How are the supplies looking now anyway? Plenty of two-minute noodles, plenty of rice, plenty of toilet paper. Plenty of two-minute noodles. Calories are fine for now. I'll just have to get used to the mysterious oriental flavor. How's the ammo? Low. Down to one. The last, that last bullet. And? And what? What sort of question? Oh, right. No plans to use it. Is that's what you're asking? Last conscious action only. I mean, how are you holding up after the whole, you know, the, the, uh, you know what? Never mind. How was Wellington? Too quiet. I remember how loud the city used to be, how much noise there was, and now it's just completely silent out there. Probably a good sign. Wanderers are quiet. Wanderers are quiet clickers. That's where they start getting the bad kind of dangerous. A spot, absolutely, I said smoothly. Absolutely the opposite here in church, in Christ Church. Ballgons keep deciding to go out, guns blazing and doing donuts outside, and it just keeps bringing the wanderers back in. It's sworn central. Shout outs to the dude over on the roof there smoking a jury and blasting the dudes on an old boombox. <laughs> ah, okay. That sounds familiar. So nothing's changed then. Simple man. I swear they could have just stayed in bubbles like the website said, and we'd probably be Zed free by now. Zombies don't listen. Can't the zombies just simply not bite my face? Wouldn't it kill them to wear a mask? <laughs> okay, I'm like, yeah, I think this is supposed to be a hint at the pandemic. <laughs> um, at least the swarms keep the raiders out, and you'd be an idiot to try to raid 
here anyway. I hope that stays true. Wait, who is blowing me up? Okay, I waited long enough. Here's what's going on. Not even going to talk about how the run went. It's fine. It's not like I'm your sister or whatever. Bitch, please. <laughs> Willow bumps me. You were first in line, but Willow got there first. Sorry. Ah, that makes sense. She is pee active these days. I wonder if it's because of the whole cooped up thing. I'm around if you need me. I might. Thanks, May. You're great. May is typing. I know I am. Is there anything we can see on the website? <laughs> yeah, babe. Love you, babe. Oh. Dang. Wow. Okay. Okay. I definitely will go ahead and give that a uh, listen. Because I'm always looking for new music to listen to. Uh, thanks, May. You're great. I know I am. How have you been coping, by the way, after you know what happened? Cleaning helps, but don't want to talk yet. Keeping the place clean helps. Just about ready to clean as elsewhere. As mom always said, lonesome hands make lousy homes. Okay. Holy crap. I can't believe how hard it was to get that set up. Crap. Oh my god. Why can't I swear on this stupid app? Jill. Heck yeah. You're online. How you been? Uh, comfortable. Hey, Ollie. Yeah, I've been just fine. Emma's a bit low, but you know, that's fine. How are you? Heck yeah, Jay. Sorry, I remember no all caps. Ha <laughs> ha. It's good to see you online again. It's been so long since we actually talked. A couple of years, I think. Maybe presets. It must have been before the outbreak. Holy crap, time flies. Yeah, that's five years, right? I've been trying to get in touch with Josh ever since I moved in here. Can you get him to reply? You are still married, right? Sorry if you're not. Well, he's dead. Yo, move that there so I can see what's going on with him this one hey willow just told me about the raiders thing is everything okay there all he asked about josh are you gonna tell him yeah that she had the mark gown i have to it happened a month ago. I haven't spoke to Ollie in years. He doesn't know. I have to tell him I might be the only one who can. Okay. I know I said this would. It happened, but it was your fault. Was it? Oh, was it? Oh, God, I'm sorry. It's okay. She's like, it was your fault. I mean, no, it wasn't your fault. It's okay, May. I know what I did, and I'm doing what I can to make peace with it. Maybe telling Ollie will help. Maybe not. I don't know. Moving on would be Good, though, right? I don't want to. May I? I don't know. I just can't move on from it. And maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm supposed to hold on to this forever. Maybe closure is for other people. Yeah, this one has a lot of reading. Um, I'm not saying forget him. I just don't think Josh would want you to be hurting forever. Sorry, I don't know. That's all right. Thanks, May. You, you're probably right about that one. Let me tell Ollie. I'll see how I feel after. Maybe this will help. Good luck, sis. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, are you still there or is this thing conked out again? Tell him I'm doing this, apparently. Ollie, that, that's a complicated... Okay, okay, Ollie. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to have to just start telling the story. And I'm sorry, but I got to keep going until it's done. Oh, shoot. Um, yep, okay. Josh is dead. He died a month ago. Mm 
what happened. We were together. We were on a supply run. We couldn't leave Danny behind. And we were more effective as a team than alone. So we had him with us. And he, he got distracted. And we were dealing with something else. It was just a second, but that's enough. We turned our backs and Danny was down the alley. And one of those things got him. Josh ran after him. I was following at a distance. Some of the Zeds were around. I didn't. I didn't want to set them off. I didn't. I was scared. Josh couldn't save him. Josh found Danny, tried to save him, tried to fight off the shambler. I had the gun. He had the machete. He got bit and turned. Um, I had to shoot him. You know what happens when it takes hold. I had to watch his took him over his eyes. They were locked on me when they got hold of him. And I did the thing I had to do. I don't know if I should have shot him before the light went out in his eyes, but I know that he was never coming back. Ali, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I could have told you before. I should have, but it's so recent. I can still see it when I close my eyes. Crap. I can still feel the kickback from the gun when I look at my hand. I killed him because I didn't save him. And now your friend is dead and it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Are you there? still there, Ollie? Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah, I'm here. It's a lot. He would have said something if he was still alive. I know that, but crap. I didn't know that closure was going to hurt that bad. Sounds like my dude was a hero, though, right? Fought to the end. Thanks for letting me know. Couldn't have been easy for you. So I'm not so good with my words and stuff, but my mom passed. No Zed crap, no heroics, just, you know, she wasn't all there before the outbreak. And she hadn't been eaten. And then she didn't wake back up one day. Gone in her sleep. Couldn't stay in the house anymore. That's terrible, Ollie. I remember your mom. She was lovely. It sounds like she went peacefully. Thanks for the support. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Where are you now? Please don't say outside my window or something. So surprise. <laughs> We're actually neighbors now. Have been for a while, but I had no idea. I saw you bringing that stuff in, reset my chat login, and crap, reached out. Glad you responded. So am I. Ali, it's good to know you're around. Anything you... Hey, uh, there anything I can do for you? <laughs> Actually, screwdriver. Got one. The place I'm holed up in is a bit janky, and a few things must have gotten busted during the outbreak. But sleeping light since I noticed the doors off a hinge. No screwdrivers here. Everything in the apartment was put together with Allen keys. We never needed a screwdriver. I'll see about getting you one if I find one. Hey, actually, I might know where to get one. The dude who lives across from you, Henry, he loved his motorbikes and crap, so might have tools around. Though he has been pretty quiet recently, so... Good luck if you decide to go look at How exactly would I get it to you? Henry's on the same floor as me, room 202, which means I guess you are too. Just figure that out. Anyway, after I moved in, it turns out we've got this washing line set up between our apartments. Are you expecting me to deliver it that way? Can it hold a person? Aha, uh -huh. oh man, that would be cool, but no, you'd probably die. Nah, I zip tie a basket to it. We can send it that way. On my way. Look, if Henry's there, I'll ask him, and if he's not, what's a little breaking and entering between friends, right? Room 202, yeah? You are a legend. I can already feel an actual night's sleep coming on. Holy crap, I need to cut back on the energy drink starting now. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Because for me, I said I liked all like the kind of like Halloween, um, 
type movies that come out, you know, all the non scary, scary movies. And um, I also enjoy. Uh, I, I do enjoy, honestly, the changing of the uh, leaves and stuff. They're going to want no creatures there, though, like. Like. I have a strong feeling we are going to get got. Because I need something to break into the apartment with. I don't have anything. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll clean those. I don't know why that makes a difference. But I'm going to need to have something to get into the apartment with. The door is locked. Do we, like, not have anything? And it's right there, but... How are we getting in there, though? I mean, how would I get in there though? Like, yeah, I'm like, uh, they like, uh, Like, uh, dude, how do I, like, how am I supposed to get this stuff? It's funny, because, like, um, on my end, Cause I'm like, um, cause I know they want us to, he wanted us to break into the apartment to like, you know, get, try to get him a screwdriver, but. I'm like, I don't think there's a way we're getting in there, so we're going to have to probably go. I'm going to close my door, though, because I don't want anything to... Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Yeah, I think they're going to make us go down the stairs. I think they want us to go down the stairs.
Yeah, so this is definitely... Yeah, no, I'm not going in there. Unless I got something to kill this chick with, because I know she going to try to kill me. But that was for 302, not 202. That was 302, right? Oh, well. I have a feeling he's going to be off in this room. You dirty dog. Okay, look, dog. Stop attacking me. I would help you, but I really kind of need... Do you have, like, super strength? Stop hitting me. Is there some way I can hit you? Because, dude, you're going to stop hitting me. Okay, maybe you won't stop hitting me. Yeah, I'm like, it, I don't know if it told me how to actually attack it. <laughs> like, it didn't... Okay, controls. Because we made it, but... Or maybe we do this. And it stops attacking us. Crap. I'm gonna just close this door. I'm gonna run around here. Lock the door. Um, I totally uh, sent that over. It's all a lie. This is a lie. Oh, one of those. The government is trying to control us by silencing us. The government... Oh. I have not seen this so-called parasite that they are all blabbing on about. The internet is a lie, so I believe the real parasite is the government. Okay. Rejoice. Hello, is anyone alive? I'm alive and haven't seen anyone in over a year. Please, all I need is to know if someone is alive. Okay. Well, we sent him the screwdriver. I just sent it. The screwdriver gave me some positive feedback. Heck yes, I'm going for it. Wait, first I was seeing some movement over there. Is everything okay? Henry was there, and then he was a effing clicker, like full clicker, blind and everything, which means I'm living with a Z on my floor. Great. Crap. Well, that explains why he wasn't responding. Today's just a day for finding out why people... Aren't talking to me, huh? Sorry. You think maybe if I took 
stuff more seriously. The people would reach out more, huh? Anyway, thanks. Gonna go get my door and think about things, okay? Willow need to talk ASAP. Can we also do the sister? No, okay. Yep, I'm here. What's going on? Henry was clicking. So there's a dude who lives across the hall from me, Henry. I uh, had to go into his apartment for reasons anyway. He was 100% the stage two thing you were talking about. A real life clicking Zed living across from you? Dang, okay, my information on that stage is pretty scant because, you know, we don't usually see them around these parts. Apparently they hide in the dark. Some sort of stage out there is Shambler. Line? Seem like it. Okay. Yeah, all sorts of say that the stage is 100% eyeless and blind. Standards and otherwise, though. As long as the door is shut and locked, and if you've locked it, it should all be fine. Okay, time out one sec. You were in someone else's apartment. Did you know it was cleared out? For all you know, it was a nest. Ollie needed me. Wait, Ollie, Joss's friend, right? He's alive and my neighbor. Yeah, he had to bail on his old place and ended up living in the complex across the road. Same level as me and everything. What? Were his parents living there? Did they have some property out that way for him to stay in? The dude's a man-child, and frankly, I'm not surprised he hasn't grown up, even though it's the end of the effing world. He's up on him, Willow. His mom just died. That's a dark joke. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. You're not going to tell him I said that, are you? Um, no, that just between us. <laughs> right, I'll be killing with the fire. Nah, tell him the hypocrisy. Wait, hippo. Okay, it's too funny. Okay. We're getting another message probably coming from Ollie. Jeez, give me a minute, man. Oh, they broke in. Do we want to see? Do we want to peek? I think this is supposed to be where this is why it's the last message. Do we leave? I'm fine. Okay, because we're going to have to wrap this one up because I do have one more game to play. So we probably will have to wrap this one up. So I set off the car alarm. I think he's effing saw me do it. Came up to my, kicked my door in. I was ready for him, though. Never shot a person during this whole thing. Holy crap, it's a lot of blood. Like, way more than I was ready for. But are you okay? Should I send something over? We not going back out there. I wonder if we, if I exit out, will I be able to save? I don't think this is one of those games where you can say. 
<laughs> right. I'm like, this one is, it, it takes a while because it's a lot of reading. Uh, okay. Um, listen, remember that one day we went on? Oh gosh. I know it was a long time ago and I know that I was a bit of a crap head and I know that and and I know that you and Josh are right for each other and all that, but Ollie, please don't. I don't know what you think you're doing right now, but I'm not in a great space to hear how wonderful we would have been together. No, it's not that. It's that I haven't seen you for five years and I don't want to F and die not knowing who you turned into because I got some bad news. Bad news. You had bad news and you wasted time talking about that. What happened? So that raider. You managed to clip me pretty good. Oh, Ollie. But now it's getting really hard to see and there's a lot of blood. Bandages. Ollie, I need you to rip up a shirt and bind the wound. I can send you clean stuff to make bandages. He probably already too far gone. I am not, I am 100% not going to make it. Oh, wow. Not sure how much time I have left. I just don't want to die alone. Well, if you're dying alone, I'm not coming over there. Bye. Can you send me a photo of you? Oh, of course. Because I was like, yeah, I'm not coming over there. Oh, you got us pictures of your doggos? Virus. You would think she would have Like, you would think she would have had <laughs> pictures in her picture folder? Like, question mark? So wait, he want me to come back over there and drop off this... Yeah, you're going to get killed. I just have a feeling she's going to get killed. So I'm going to quit to the menu because that's making me mad. <laughs> but that is last message because I have a feeling that once she drops off that picture, she dies. Because, you know, there's no say if the raider really was gone or not. So I think he was setting her up to be killed so that then he could move into her stuff. Um, but that is the last message. And so if you want to see how it ends, you can pick this up again on PC through Steam and itch.io. And it is going for the lovely, uh, oh, well, no, it's free. It's going for free because it's free to play. Um, so yeah, like I said, I got really into it. <laughs> this was another one I didn't think was going to take that long and it did. Um, but it was a really good story, just a lot of reading, but it's a free-to-play game. So if you're into story-based games, then I would say check this one out. Alrighty, so technically I do have one more game to play. Um, and that is Lycan Thorn is the last game that I have to play. I don't think it has a, um, it actually does have a category on Twitch. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and play probably a little bit of Lycanthorn. Um, cause when I tried it out, I kind of got lost a bit in the game. So I'm not sure how far we're going to get into this. Um, but I will at least show it off. And if I get to the same part where I couldn't progress like I couldn't the last time, 
then we will end stream after that. So this one's probably not going to be that long of a gameplay. Um, but we will go ahead and still try it anyway. Because this one is kind of, it's like a 3D Castlevania. So, um, inspired action platformer. So it, it's a first person um, type of game, but... I thought it looked cool, and I was like, oh, I would love to play this. <laughs> so, we're gonna be uh, testing this out here. If it captures, it should capture. Because I didn't have this issue the last time. Jump kill. Okay. So it loaded, but that's not what I want it to do. That's your mark. There we go. All right. And so again, this is Lichen Thorn, and this is probably going to be loud in my ears. I'm going to try to turn it down a bit. Uh, but this is Lichen Thorn. This one is also a free-to-play game. Um, and this one is available on PC through itch.io. Again, if you use exclamation point GOTW or simply click on the link here, it will give you the link for Lycanthorn. There is a part two to this that is available on Itch and Steam as well, but we're going to be trying the first part out here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a new game so you guys can kind of see it from the beginning. That is very loud in my ear. I knew that was going to do that. So, this one tends to be pretty loud, so if the music is loud, let me know and I can adjust accordingly. Nope, that's not how we're gonna do that. But I really like the music in this one. Music is really on point. Oh, correct. Okay, let me adjust the audio from the game then. Because I'm like, I know it's pretty loud. Okay, let me see if I can get back into the game now. I think it bricked for a second. Hopefully that's a little bit better now. Now if it's too low, which is what it looks like, let me know and I'll readjust. <laughs> right? I'm like, it's one of those you have to, like, kind of, like, play it by ear type games. Oh, it's not gonna let me adjust. Okay, let me see. Yeah, it's very tricky. Okay, let me see if I can actually do that. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna turn this up just a smidge. That might be a little bit better. Let me see if I can actually adjust the uh, sound in here. Yeah, here we go. That might be better. I don't know why that did that. Okay, let's grab the wall. Turkey or the wall of meat. See, like that, like I'm supposed to be able to use the right mouse button. 
to use my throwing knife and it won't let me. Like it doesn't work, even though I have it. And that was some of the issues that I had read into this when I played it. And then I have this key. But I'm not sure how I'm supposed to use it. And that's where I get stuck. <laughs> and it's such a it, it looks like it looks like a really good game, but I got stuck here and I couldn't figure out how to like open the door. Um, and then I did go in and look at the um, you know, and I did go and try to check the options for the game as well. I'm like, but it doesn't exactly tell you how to uh, use the key. Cause I think I even tried this way. Yeah, but it doesn't show you how to actually... Uh, okay. Let's see if I... Now I just switched it over to controller. So let's see if... I'm going to see if I can um, maybe use controller and see if that will like open the door, but it doesn't, even though I have the key and that was the issue that I had with this. And it's such a beautiful game. It's just some of the things, like I said, I couldn't figure this part out, you know. And that's why I was like, well, I will go ahead and kind of mention it, you know, because it is a great game and it looks great, but, you know, ideally in traditional old school games, you would hit space and that would open the door, but there's no way to open the door in this, unfortunately. At least that's what it's showing me. Yeah, now there is a part two to this as well. Let me see, player setup. I'm okay with the always run on. So you could change the name of the player, but again, HUD options. Cause I'm trying to see if it's a way that I can uh, kind of like just turn on something that would automatically like use the keys or whatnot, but it doesn't look like it does. So, cause like I said, I played a bit of this and I got here and I was like, well, maybe it's something, you know, maybe there's a certain button I'm supposed to hit and nothing. Like there's nothing in here to tell you how to actually open doors or interact with things. Cause I also thought maybe just maybe hitting the, um, hitting the fire button or, but then again, like I said, you can use the right mouse button to use the knife and that doesn't work either, so. So I guess we will, I'm gonna save the game. But 
I guess that's going to um, end the coverage for this because we can't, you know, there's not much we can do. So, but that is like and Thorn. It is available on PC. In fact, this one is available on PC through itch.io. Now, like I said, there is a part two that's out. Um, and then part two is available on Steam and itch.io. And it is also a free to play game as well. So maybe next time I will try out part two and give it a go. Um, but it seems like the game is bricked at this point. So other than that, it, it looks good. It sounds good. I just wish I could actually play more of it so all right and with that being said we are gonna go ahead and end stream it's pretty late so i'm not gonna raid anyone because it's pretty late um but i do want to thank you all for tuning in to tonight's stream um i will probably be back to stream next week on wednesday at 10 a.m um, also, next week, Wednesday, will be the third episode of the Indie Game Recap vidcast that I do. Um, so that's going to be next week, Wednesday. And then, of course, next week, starting October, the first will be Steam Next Fest. So I will be uh, actually providing coverage that day as well. And... Um, so there's things coming up, but the uh, next time I will be streaming will be for sure on Wednesday and Thursday. And then, like I said, the first will be the start of Steam Next Fest. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the way that this uh, layout turned out. So. Um, but I'm glad that you were here to hang out and chill with me for the night. I'm going to go ahead and call stream here and probably put on some um, relaxing like some chill hop music something to kind of get you all to kind of like relax and groove too but i will see you all next week wednesday and as always this is ready set indie games i am ready set please be safe and keep gaming double kill